Okay, now that we know how to find the standard error, we can do a confidence interval. So here, we have a random sample of 500 moviegoers. In January 2013, 320 of them said they are more likely to wait and watch a new movie in the comfort of their own home. Find and interpret a 95% confidence interval for the proportion of moviegoers who are more likely to watch a new movie from home. Well, the first thing we need to do is find our sample proportion, which is p hat, which is the number who meet the criteria, that is, said they are more likely to watch it from home, over the total number surveyed. So that's 0 0.64. Now, confidence interval, remember, is sample statistic. plus or minus z splat times standard error. We have our sample statistic. z splat, 95%, z splat is 1.96. That's something you can write down and bring in with you. Standard error, we don't have yet. So, standard error is the square root, since we don't have population proportion, we use the sample proportion, so it's square root of p hat times 1 minus p hat over n. So, this is the square root, 0.64 times 1 minus 0 0.64 over 500. Remember, it's the square root of the entire thing. So we have 0 0.64 times 1 minus 0 0.64 divided by 500. And now take the square root of that answer, and we get 0 0.64. 0.215. So now we have all the elements we need for doing this confidence interval. So it's 0 0.64 plus or minus 1.96 times 0 0.0215. So it's 0 0.64 plus or minus 0 0.042, which gives us 0 0.5982, 0 0.682. Now we do our interpretation. So it's 95% confidence that the proportion of moviegoers, so we are 95% confident that the proportion of moviegoers who are more likely to watch a new movie from home is between 
zero point five nine eight and zero point six eight two. One thing we did not do, but should always do before we do these problems, is check the conditions. So the conditions. that the 320 is greater than or equal to 10 and 180, which is 500 minus 320, is greater than or equal to 10. So now we want the margin of error for this confidence interval. So if we look at what we've done, the margin of error is what we add or subtract to the Proportion. So the margin of error is 0 0.042. Now, sample size, so we need to find sample size needed if we want a margin of error with plus or minus 2%. And we're going to use the sample proportion from the origin. So sample size is Z splat over margin of error squared times p times 1 minus p. So for 95% confidence interval, z splat is 1.96. Margin of error is given to us at 0 0.02. So we want to square that then times 0.64 times 1 minus 0.64. If we work this out, so we have 1.96 divided by 0 0.02, then square it, then times 0.64 times 1 minus 0.64, we get 2212.7616. Now, since this is the minimum number, we need to have a margin of error of plus or minus 2% instead of the 4.2% that we had in this problem. We need to round it up because we do not want to lose this decimal amount. So we always round up to 2213. Now the next one, we want to know what sample size is needed if we want a margin of error within plus or minus 2% and we use the conservative estimate of p equal 0.5. So it's n equals Z splat over margin of error squared times P times 1 minus P. So we have 1.96 over 0 0.02 squared times 0 0.5 times 1 minus 0 0.5. So 1.96 divided by 0 0.02 squared times 0.5 times 1 minus 0.5. This gives us 2401. This is nice. It's a whole number. We don't have to round it. But we see from this that less knowledge of the actual proportion you need a larger sample size for the same margin of error.